What it do? What it do? What's going on? This is KQKC Boxing Network. And I am bringing you another video. And first of all, shout out to all my subscribers. And shout out to everyone that's listening to this video. Now, first of all, I want to welcome you back to the channel. And we do have what we call a super thanks. Now, you also can choose to hit that if you want to help further the channel and keep the channel growing. Now, let's get into the video. Now, we are talking about Tim Zhu versus Tony Harrison. That took place last night in Sydney, Australia. Yes, the home of Tim Zhu. Now, Tim Zhu versus Tony Harrison. It was a great fight. Matter of fact, I think it was an even fight up to one point. Now, I will tell you this. Tony Harrison is a great fighter. Tony Harrison always been a great fighter. Now, I do hear rumblings. Oh, uh, well, Tony Harrison should hang it up. Should we judge a fighter on just one bad showing or is it two bad showings? Think about that. Should he pretty much hang up what he been great of doing for all his life? Just hang it up after two fights or maybe one fight. Now, Tim Zhu. Tim Zhu is still not that complete fighter. Tim Zhu is not a complete fighter. Tim Zhu is like Tony Harrison said, and I quote, and I unquote. He is, and I repeat once again, he is ordinary. He's basic. There's nothing different. There's nothing special. There's nothing great about a Tim Zhu. Now, in the words of a Bud Crawford, be careful. Be careful talking smack. Because now you have to back that up. And he's right. Because you're facing a different, a different fighter when we're talking about Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo, the undisputed champion, he is a different fighter. He is a complete fighter. He has fought his way. From the bottom of 154 all the way to the top. He has gotten better since the Tony Harrison fight one and two. He has gotten better with fights like the lack of uh, 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 Castano. He is one of those fighters that once he get mad, once he get really mad, that dog come out. That dog come out. Now, Keep in mind, Jamel Charlo. He is one of the one of the elite fighters at 154 that hits very hard. Now, Tim Zhu, he is a basic fighter. As, as Jamel stated last night, as he commentated for Showtime, he pretty much said that listen, this is what we prepared for. Just what I seen tonight. And he was talking about Tony, about Tim Zhu. Now, Tim Zhu, after he won, as they interviewed him, he said, hey, say my name. What's my effing name? Tim Zhu. KQ got something to say. Don't get cocky. You fought the former champion, Tony Harrison, what I have great respect for. But once his father passed, it seemed like his career started going the other way. But Jamel Charlo, Jamel, Javante, Charlo, he's a different type of beast. He's a different type of fighter. You haven't seen that type of fighter. You come into the USA. So, in the words, in the words of the Fox News analysts, shut up and box. Shut up and box. That's what you need to do. Because you're going to have your hands full. Your team know it. I know it. And I very, 
very seriously doubt if you don't know it. Yes, you beat Tony Harrison. The only fighter that beat Jamel Charlo. Yes, you beat the man that beat the man. But <laughs> you ain't fought the man yet. You haven't fought him. Now, let me remind you, my, uh, my, my, my subscribers, my family members. There's no other champion at 154. Tony Harrison told Tim Zhu, stay busy. Stay active. Well, let me tell you something. Jamel Charlo is the only champion at the 154. There's no other champion there. No, there's no one else hold a belt there. He holds all the belts. Let me, let me say that again. He holds all the belts. The young man born in Lafayette, Louisiana, and moved to none other than Houston, Texas. He holds all the belts. And we're going to talk about that and more when I go live tomorrow, Monday, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Javante Tank Davis. We're going to talk about Ryan Garcia, who told Bud Crawford, take my lead. Now, we have more and more to come from KQKC Boston Network. First of all, I thank you all for coming out last night. I thank you all for showing that love. That's why KQ always keep it 100 with y'all. That's why KQ want to give back to you all. Don't forget, we got the pay-per-view giveaway coming up. We got it coming up at the end of this month. Yes, sir. So with that, that's all I have for right now. I am KQKC Boston Network, and I come on Monday through Friday, and that is 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time, baby. And yes, Saturday mornings, Saturday afternoons, or Saturday night, if there's a fight on, I'm your man. I will call play by play, blow by blow. Yes, just check out the Tim Zoo. And Tony Harrison fight I called last night. Use that as a guide. Use that as an example, baby. All right? That's what you get. If you want to subscribe just to hear me call fights, I'm cool with that. If you want to hear me and Knockout Boxing on the morning after show where we talk about the latest and greatest in sport of boxing, I'm cool with that. If you just want to hear the live streams Monday through Friday, baby, 11 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time, I'm cool with that. Baby, yes, sir. I need 10 more subscribers. 10 more subscribers, baby, and I'm reaching 6,000 subscribers, baby. That's right. 10,000. 10, more subscribers now i don't care about subscribers because i got a great family right now we are troll free we are not going at each other it's nothing but grown people in my chat if you're not grown this ain't the place for you if you're not mature this is not the place for you so with that that's all i have and thank you and I'm out of here. Shout out to the almighty. L. D. B. C. Shout out to Black Meters Row. And shout out all baby. Definitely to all my family members. I love you. And I thank you. And I'm out.